Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is September 22nd, 2022, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. markets tank after the FOMC rate decision yesterday. But first, looking at the major economic events of today. So at 1 p.m. South African time out of Great Britain, we have an official bank rate decision coming out. That is similar to the FOMC rate decision. It's an interest rate decision for the UK. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the forex symbols, we're watching the US dollar gain across the board versus almost everything. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ both tank. Looking at commodities, gold and oil retreat to support. While in terms of the stocks, we're watching Facebook make new lows for the year. And lastly, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin finding some footing, at least for now. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're looking at the Euro USD at a daily chart. You can see it free fall. And not that we haven't been at this area before, but this is the first time that we've been in this area and not bounced off. Okay, where we're closing at this area with bars on the downside, that is very important. That means possibly we could go even further lower as this is making new lows for the year. Now, looking at the GBP USD, made new lows yesterday and did cover it in Facebook. It's close to one to one versus the dollar, which is unprecedented. I mean, we're starting out with a monthly chart here. You could see we've never hit this type of area besides when we were close to this in 2020 when we hit that pandemic and then also before that this is really going back to when we were in 2015 through um, the Brexit but this is really lowest of low since I can remember for the British pound versus the dollar now looking at the Australian dollar also making lows here breaking that support at 67 we are at 66 now at this stage we could break further to 57 potentially okay not there yet looking at the Japanese yen had a monetary policy this morning and also weakening versus a dollar at 145 it breaks 145 it could continue weakening versus the dollar on the upside now lastly looking at commodities first looking at gold we're trading in a range we're at the bottom of the range we retreated to support doesn't mean that we're breaking lower, but you got to know your levels, okay, to see how much further we potentially can break down. Now, we do have some room in the Fibonacci retracements for another support. Looking at crude oil, trending sideways at $83 a barrel, but again, it's on the bottom range. However, looking at the U.S. markets, look at this amazing tankage as it's gotten very, very weak here and retreated down to its supportish level almost. Looking at the NASDAQ also close to it while we're watching stocks making new lows. Looking at Facebook, made a new low yesterday, 145. We broke down 156 last week and we're just slowly but surely inching lower. Now to give us perspective, we got to go to not just a weekly but to a monthly chart. If we break this 121-ish level, we could see us back in the 50s, 60s, 70s even. Okay, this is areas that we're retreating to in the Facebook here now looking at microsoft also breaking its lows breaking that not lower momentum on the downside with some gusto looking at intel also breaking lower okay so the major components and major stocks are continuing to break down and that is where i start thinking hey maybe there is going to be a massive sell-off come the next couple of months now lastly looking at bitcoin it's found some soft landing at least for now Eighteen thousand is that area didn't break lower, so I'm inclined to think that this is for now a support-ish area, also a uh, level where it could potentially bounce off of. So keep that in mind as we go into today's session. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day.